Good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne, First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. We're looking at 2 Timothy chapter 3. It says, All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto, God, unto good works. You know, that idea that all scripture, it doesn't matter if I believe it or not, the Bible says it is there, it is, has a purpose, there's a reason why it's there, and it's for you and I to, uh, to partake in and to grasp onto, to hold onto, to obey in order to uh, receive everything that the Word of God has for you and I. It says for, um, uh, for, uh, uh, for, for, for reproof, for correction, for doctrine, and so forth. And so if we're really going to be able to take and get everything we can out of this book, we need to really uh, obey everything in this book. It used to be an old saying back in the 70s. It says, um, it said, God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Used to be a bumper sticker. Used to be a, a major saying, probably in the late seventies, early eighties. And the fact is, that the bumper sticker is wrong. And it doesn't matter if you and I believe it or not. It's the fact that God said it, and uh, and that settles it. Anything that God says, that settles it. I don't know if you grew up in a home like mine, but there was no dialogue typically with my father. Uh, he never once in my life did he ask me what my opinion was. Son, what do you think? Uh, what, what do you think about this? I grew up in a home where my dad gave me my opinion, right? And uh, whether I agreed with it or not, that's the way that he we were going to go. There was no um, no uh, debate about the situation. He was right, and I was wrong every every time. You know, in truth, um, that's the way the Word of God is. There is no debate. God is not debating with anybody of, of, of what his interpretation is and what his intent is. He has given us his Word, and he expects us to obey it. God said it, and that settles it. That includes what's, um, what, you, what, you, uh, what you like and also what you don't like. It includes what, uh, what offends other people. And yet, and yes, what offends us as well. Because when we read the Word of God, the Word of God is like a mirror that reflects our heart before God. It reflects our sinfulness. And the more I stay out of the Word of God, the, uh, the better I look. But the more I look into the Word of God, the, the, the more sinful I am. I don't know if that's true about you, but that's certainly true about me. Because I'm not everything I should be. And I'm sure that's true of you as well. We're saved, I mean, we're, we're sinners before we get saved, and we're saved sinners now that we, we, we've received Christ. Uh, the only difference is that our sins have been forgiven. We can confess our sins, and He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The fact is, it doesn't matter what your opinion is on the Word of God. People say, well, I don't believe, I don't believe that homosexuality is a sin. It really doesn't matter what you believe. What does the Bible say? Well, I don't believe that God wants me to stay in this marriage if I'm not happy. Again, it doesn't matter what you believe. What does the Bible say? Well, I don't believe that, uh, that if people never hear about the gospel that they're going to go to hell. It doesn't matter what you believe. What does the Bible say? Um, and so I don't have to apologize for what the Word of God says. I, as a pastor, have to uh, relay what the Bible says. I'm simply the messenger. And if you've got a problem with the Word of God, guess what? You have a problem with God. And that's something you better get settled real quick. Because you're wrong 100% of the time. Every time. God said it, and that settles it. Amen? This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.